Hello folks, this is uh, Coco Mosfet, and I uh, decided to do the replication of uh, Tin Man Power's step-by-stepper uh, motor driver, or uh, can be used as a radiant charger, of course. Um, and I'll link to the original videos and one or two other uh, replications, one by Lead Motor, and uh, who's the other one? Uh, sorry, forgot the name of the other guy, but it's uh, linked below in the description or somewhere on this uh, video. So first thing, of course, uh, is to get some stepper motors. And actually, uh, I had uh, massive amounts from my younger years of motors that I collected uh, without knowing what to do with them. But I just thought it would, they were cool but would, because they're big and chunky and uh, you can feel the steps when you turn them. You can't hear it on camera, of course, but they do have uh, steps. So anyway, I, I, I took four, motor, four motors and uh, uh, I accidentally realized that they actually, <laughs> like the, you know, they're like uh, increasingly bigger. So anyway, um, this is a small, uh, you know, a medium size, I guess, stepper motor. I don't know where it came from, probably a printer from the 80s or 90s. Uh, same thing here, and then this is a bigger stepper motor, and uh, what I want to show you is this one has only four leads coming out, and so they each represent one coil, obviously, and I, I, I tie them together so I know, because I ohm tested it like uh, Tin Man Power says uh, to do, and so I identified the two uh, coils. I don't know which polarity they have, so Again, when you solder or when you mount the circuit, you have a 50-50 chance to do it right the first time. This one has six leads coming out and I tied together the two pairs that go together that have the most resistance. They have about eight, uh, they have 8.3 ohms resistance and from the center tap to, to one of these it's 4.2 to 4.3 ohms uh, so I just left the center taps open but I'm going to use these just like just as if they were just four like these okay and here's an even bigger stepper motor and it also has six leads coming out I didn't cut the connector I'd love to keep that connector but I don't have like a respective uh, complementary um, connector to, to hook it up to and here, well, you can laugh now because initially I thought it was a stepper motor because I felt a little bit of a cogging, I guess that's what you call it. But it's actually a DC motor coming from an old hard drive. It also has six leads coming out and we'll see if I can do something with that. Um, I can feel this four, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's some, some sort of trough there in terms of the force. And then here again, that's two, three, four. And in between there's a middle point, okay, which seems also to be some a little bit stable, but this is you can feel that this is you know, going and here again and here again. So there's four like these, so it makes me believe that um there's probably maybe two and two coils or something like that, I don't know. Uh, maybe we can do something similar, you know, Bedini, I mean definitely Bedini circuit, but use the coils in there to do something. This thing is massive, this thing is, I don't know, 10 ounces, that'd be like 300 grams, well maybe two, 250, I'd have to weigh it, but I mean when this thing gets turning, it's, 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 I mean, it's moving momentum, there's momentum in this, so can't wait to do something with that.